Hi there and welcome. This is Vince of VincePrep.com talking about 16 stories. This is my method that I've developed over the last 10 years for helping clients who are preparing for upcoming interviews. The thing that makes us all nervous when we prepare for interviews is unexpected questions. And 16 stories is a method that's specifically designed to help you minimize that fear by being well prepared, having a wide range of stories. I've been studying interview questions for 15 years. I've been doing this work 15 years, and I've been working on this method for the last 10 of those 15 years. And in the 15 years of helping people prepare for interviews, I've been able to group, I think just about any interview question, especially any behavioral interview question, falls into one of four categories. And so today I'm gonna dive into those four categories with a little bit more detail. This will be a short video, and then I'll be making, um, trying to try, trying a new style here of short videos in a series um, rather than long videos that make you tired. So here goes. The four types of stories defined, uh, 16 stories. What are the four types? Cool. So 16 stories, how to prepare for unexpected interview questions. The biggest fear that my clients tell me about the interview is unexpected questions. I completely understand. Um, I don't like unexpected questions either. So I've been thinking about which stories you should prepare. There's four types. I've studied a really wide range, hundreds of questions over the years, and I feel that almost every question I've ever seen can be uh, grouped into one of four types. Here are they. The, the silly acronym that I created, uh, well, the, it's DBMI, which I remember by the phrase, don't blow my interview, DBMI. But the real words in my model are drive, bridge, motivate, and influence. So let me talk a little bit more about each of those. First of all, drive. Drive means drive results. Um, the image here is, this is a bit blurry, but it's an arrow hitting a target. So you're driving results, basically um, achieving things that can be counted, quantifiable uh, results, say, saving money, making money, whatever, stuff that can be proven, um, achieving targets. The second one is bridge, and bridge means bridging diverse teams. I say diverse, it's, it can be cultural diversity, it can also just be functional diversity, the back office and the middle office, the marketing department and the sales department, the, or actual you know, geographic or ethnic diversity, the Sydney office and the London office, whatever. So bridging diverse teams. My image here, again, it's blurry, but I think a bridging story is really good when you're, when it's not necessarily a conflict between you and someone, but between two members of your team. The question behind the question here is, how are you going to resolve, help resolve conflicts at a business school or in your future company between others? Uh, not necessarily between yourself and someone, um, but between two other people, not you, and that you're a sort of peacemaker or a bridge to help them each side calm down uh, and find agreement or at least agree to disagree. So that's bridge, bridging a diverse team. Um, motivate, motivate means in this case, I'm using motivate for juniors, people below you. The way that you motivate people to achieve things that they didn't think they could achieve, the way you uh, inspire or train someone um, who might be younger than you, might be older than you, but it, uh, in terms of the power structure of your organization is um, is either at or below your level. So I, I call juniors or peers. That's, that's motivate, M, motivate. And finally, influence. In my model, I'm using influence to talk about managing up, influencing seniors getting the people above you to agree to your idea, to fund your proposal, to green light your project, or funders to support your idea. Basically, people above you who have power and authority to say yes to your new idea. So those are the four models. Um, influence, motivate, bridge, and drive drive results, bridge diverse teams, motivate juniors, and influence seniors. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribers will be the first to know when I've uploaded a new video. Best of luck with your interview, and bye for now.